Hey everyone, today I want to talk a little bit about pollinators and pollinator gardens. It's really easy here in Northeast Florida to attract uh, the birds, the bees, the butterflies, all the beneficial pollinators and insects uh, that we want to have in our garden. Uh, simply put, you need to have a combination of flowers that not only attract them for the pollen, and, but also for the nectar. So each insect is going to be looking for different things. So it needs to be a combination of nectar plants and pollen plants. So the bees are uh, really interested in pollen. So we'll be talking about some plants where they can get that. And then the butterflies and some of the other insects will be looking for nectar. So uh, some great nectar plants uh, for your fluttering friends will be things like pentas, salvias. They are the top two, uh, right with lantana as well. Uh, lantana alone will bring in more varieties of butterflies, I think, than any other single plant in your garden. So I'd have at least a handful of lantanas uh, to mix and sprinkle in. We have some really nice bunching, compact varieties that you can use. Uh, traditionally, people think of lantana as that giant elephant in the garden that just sprawls everywhere. Well, there's a lot of new, improved, and more compact varieties that you can uh, bring into your garden. The pentas are great because they're naturally compact. Uh, most varieties, 18 inches at the most, there are some larger growing varieties. Uh, but the pentas are easy because you can grow them in both full sun and partial sun. So if you don't have a full sun position, which is about four hours at the minimum, uh, you can also use pentas if you're getting less than that. The salvias are nice. A lot of the salvias that we have in are going to come in blues and purples. And that's important because blues, purples, and reds are the spectrum that the insects see. Also the hummingbirds see blues and reds. So just by having blue and red in the garden, it's gonna act as a beacon that will bring them in. And once they find the garden, they will be back day after day after day. If you were to walk around the garden center here, uh, here in late spring and during all throughout the summer, you'll see the butterflies, the hummingbirds are just all over these tables. It's a little early. Right now we have seen our first hummingbird uh, a couple weeks ago. We've seen lots of butterflies starting to emerge as well. But the purple and the red, crucial. They also look nice together. Uh, there's some nice contrast between the two colors. And then sprinkle in other types of colors too because they will feed off the other colors, but it's the blues, the purples, and the reds that are gonna bring them in. If you have any questions on specific varieties and how to mix them together, stop in here at Earthworks. Any one of us here will be more than happy to help you put together your pollinator garden.